So uh, this is my newest poem, and it's uh, it's called In Ponderance of Trust. It's in three movements. Let me know if I have time for the third one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> trust, 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 trust. Where does it begin? How does it reach an end? Are we born with a certain set amount? Then life events increase or decrease our trust account? In our stressed out, fear-based society, can we trust anyone or anything completely? How about state and federal governments? Or maybe pharmaceutical advertisements? Mm -hmm. Can't trust Wall Street CEO tycoons, nor any puffed up political pundit buffoons. Do we really put our trust in reality TV? How about sexually repressed clergy? Clergy. Of course, not all cops have a quick trigger hand. Just tell that to the mother of a young black man. How do we human beings restore trust and believe? Can we rewrite the story of Adam and Eve? For native elders say we never left the garden. Can we find grace and give each other pardon? Uh Second movement. Is it the nature of nature to be trusting? How does the fledgling robin trust his wings before his first flight? When the gazelle escapes, does the lioness worry how she'll feed her cubs next week? When the tiny hummingbird takes off for his thousand mile trek, is he anxious about whether there'll be enough flowers along the way? Is persistence part of trust? Is patience? Ask the crocodile. To be sure, some animals starve during lean times, but that is not a tragedy for the maggots. In the grand scheme of the garden of earth and the cycles and seasons of life, only the human ego sleepwalks through the nightmare of its self-perceived exile. This is the third movement in Ponderance of Trust. As I sit pondering in the park, I spot a little boy suddenly take off running, joyfully, unabashedly running. He doesn't seem to think about whether he'll fall or get hit by a speeding cyclist or even where he's going, really. He just runs. Trusting the world to support his curiosity, his little bitty legs somehow managing to run faster than the adults in hot pursuit. This phenomenon always amazes me. How can the one with 10 inch legs outpace his grown up keepers? Maybe he trusts his legs more than they do. Not for him to analyze first. Nope, he flat out runs, baby. As I continue to watch the little runner, I wonder, how do I regain such trust in my legs, in my surroundings, in life? When did my trust end? How can I find it again? Oh yes, the garden, the garden. Can I wake up from this cultural nightmare and truly return to the interconnected beauty of the garden? Come. Take my hands, lie my friends, and let's wake 